Hi, my name is Simon. I'm co-founder of NoLoco, the no-code platform for teams to create internal tools and customer portals from their business data. Today, I'm going to show you how you can create an internal tool from your Postgres database without writing a line of code. Our Postgres database for this tutorial is for a lending business. We have a table of borrowers, loan applications, team members, assets and liabilities, etc. To get started, we have to connect our Postgres database to NoLoco. From the data tab, I'm going to add a new Postgres data source, and I'm going to rename it Lending App. Then I just have to enter the server host name, server port, database name, the name of the relevant schema, username, password, and choose whether or not SSL is required. Once NoLoco makes the connection to the database, we'll then analyze the different tables and you get to choose which ones you'd like to sync. If there are particularly large tables that you don't need for your app, you may decide not to sync them to get up and running that bit faster. For now, I'm just going to choose them all. We then just have to wait a few seconds for the sync to complete. All right, so we can see that Noloco has automatically created a UI around each of the tables in Postgres, like borrowers and loan applications, and the data's all there. Let's say we wanted to change the layout of the loan applications collection view. The table works fine, but maybe I prefer a Kanban board. I'm going to turn on edit mode using my keyboard shortcut, go into display and choose the board layout option. Now I want to group these records by the application status. I don't want pagination, so I'll get rid of that. Then it'd be nice to add some filter fields so app users can easily find certain records. I'm going to add the ability to filter by loan type and filter by borrower as well. Now I can click into a loan application and be brought to that specific record page. I'm going to add a section to the UI so that I can easily see the status of this loan application. One of the things I want to do is to enable internal users to update the loan application status to mark it as complete. I'm feeling fancy, so I'm going to quickly add a one-click action button to easily update the status. I'm going to add an action button, update the button text, and I'm going to make this a one-click action instead of showing a modal pop-up. I'm going to specify that this action should update this record and that it should update the application status field. I'll also want to set a hidden value so that the field is always updated to completed when the button is pressed. I'm going to click done, and then I'll turn on the action button on this record view. So let's give it a go. If I click the button, I see the status of the loan application has instantly updated to completed within our app. Let's take a look at our Postgres database. If I refresh this loan record, I can see that the status has been instantly updated there too. With Naloco, we're able to update the Postgres data without having to write SQL or give direct access to the database, all through a beautiful app. What if I want to give access to borrowers to come into the app and create loan applications themselves. Firstly, I'm going to create a view so that the borrower only sees their own data. I'm going to clone the existing borrower's collection view and rename it My Profile. Then I'm going to change it to a single record view as I only want the borrower to see their own record. How do I do that? Well, this is where database permissions come into play. Let's first say look at user roles. I've created several roles for different types of users, including borrowers. Next, I want to make sure that those with borrowers in my Postgres database can log in to my NoLoco app. To do this, I'm going to add a user list. I'm going to name this list. Choose the Postgres table therein. 
Choose the email address and name fields and select the default user role to be applied to all users from this list, which of course is borrower in this case. All right, so I've added our user list. So borrowers should now be able to access the app. I can see their records have synced into our users table in their local. The next step is to create permission rules at the database level so that borrowers only see their own data and no one else's. From the data tab, I'm going to go to the permission screen for the borrowers table. I've already created a permission rule here to be applied to those with the borrower user role. But let's see how I set it up. I want to ensure that borrowers only have access to specific records as opposed to all records. They should only be able to access borrower records where the record matches the borrower associated with that user. And this is where our user list comes into play. Through our user list, we created a one-to-one -one relationship between borrowers and users in Noloco. That's set up, so now I'm just going to click Save. Finally, I'm going to want to add visibility rules so that only certain pages are visible to borrowers. They definitely shouldn't see all the pages we have here. In visibility settings on the main borrowers page, I want to ensure that only our internal team members can see it. I could also specify that users with the borrower role should definitely not see this page. Whereas the My Profile page, I only want that to be visible to those with the borrower user role. I'm going to continue going through a couple of different pages that should only be visible to the internal team. All right, now I'm ready to see what this looks like to a borrower. I can click the option to preview the app as another user. So I'm going to choose Dominica, who has the borrower role applied. Notice how the sidebar changes due to the visibility settings we previously added. And when we click on the My Profile page, Dominica correctly only sees her own data, thanks to the permission rule we added on the borrowers collection. Part of the reason we wanted to give borrowers access to the app in the first place is so that they could create their own loan applications. So let's try that. Coming from the My Profile page, we've automatically pre-filled the borrower as Dominica. Then I'm going to enter some data here before submitting the loan application. We could further customize this page with default values, hidden values, and conditional field visibility, amongst other things. But for now, I've kept it pretty simple. Once submitted, we see that Dominica is brought back to her profile page where she can see her new loan application record and the status of that record. Let's take a quick look at our Postgres data source. I'm going to search for that particular loan application record, 1001. And there it is. I can see all the data that I just inputted via the form. If I stop previewing as Dominica, I can go back to my admin view and see the loan amongst other loan applications. I could then make changes to the record, like updating the status to pending, or change other information, for example, updating the associated underwriter. Or even leave comments on the record, notifying the user if further information is needed. That's how you can create an internal tool from your Postgres database without writing a line of code. If you're interested in creating an internal tool or customer portal from your Postgres data, head over to noloco.io and start building for free today.